Welcome to Social Town. In this video, we are going to learn about 10 signs of a true friend. No matter how crowded your friend circle is, or no matter how many people you know, calling someone a true friend is something one must deserve. Your social environment affects your personality more than you would imagine. Therefore, when choosing friends, you need to choose the people that can call real friends. Most people today continue to interact with people they believe are friends without understanding the difference. In this video, we examine 10 signs for you to help to define true friendship. In this way, you will decipher the role of people in your life better. Make sure that you watch till the end to watch the most interesting signs. Please consider subscribing to our channel for more inspirational videos covering self-improvement, wellness, and more. Number one, this person will be sincere to you. A true friend should be sincere in the way she behaves, does, and acts towards you. If you believe that even though you have failed, her feedback is to your advantage, you have made the right choice for friendship. Sincere friends never pretend to be someone else or never mask their personalities. Their sincerity to you helps them to tell everything in their minds to your face. It would be unfair to give the title of friend to someone who talks behind your back and then smiles upon you. So be sure to examine the sincerity of the person you think is a friend of yours. Even the suspicion of someone being insincere is a sign that you should pay attention to that person. Number two, your friendship does not need to serve a specific purpose. If you think that your friendship is continuing because of a function, it is nothing more than a relationship of interest. If someone just calls and asks you for the homework or empty positions in team sports, this will not suit the concept of real friendship. The people you spend time with at your workplace or at your school, or the ones you just say hi, may not be your close friends. Close friends are individuals who can turn your leisure time into special moments and enjoy every moment you spend with them. You should devote more time to these kinds of people. Otherwise, in this case, they will suspect your friendship as well. Nobody wants to be a friend with someone who thinks only about getting benefits. Number three. If this person does not have difficulty in expressing feelings to you, you wouldn't try to hide your feelings with someone you call a close friend. You can bond with someone with whom you can express your feelings. You should think of this not only in terms of positive feelings, but also in terms of negative ones. So be able to express your anger and also joy. If you can genuinely express your emotions towards that person, we can say she is a real friend of yours. But if the opposite is the case, we cannot say the same thing. Your sincerity and integrity towards her are as vital as her honesty towards you. Number four, if you do not compromise your capacity and creativity when you are around this person. One thing that you can show when you're with your real friends is to share your creative and practical opinions. Having fun with your creative thoughts is a must for a friendship of high quality. For those that are open to new ideas, friendships are far more meaningful and long-lasting. The other will adapt when one of you wants to do something new, establishing an atmosphere that will allow you to spend a much better time. A strong friendship enables you to progress with the positive synergy you create. Being inspired by each other is a sign that you are not limiting your freedom and using your creativity to the fullest. All these definitions refer to a true friendship. Number five, if this person can worry about you. When you think alone, pay attention to the questions of when and why your friends call you. Someone worrying about you, not only in times of trouble, will always be there for you. If a person calls you only to ask something, then you may lose your trust in him or her. Loss of trust will also weaken the bond between you. If someone you call a friend just wants to have fun or just asks for a favor, be skeptical about this relationship. A good friend will support you and be happy with your success. If someone is worried about you, you can be more confident in life. Number six, if he is listening to you. We have mentioned that you can be a close friend with someone you can share your feelings with, but this alone is not a standard that is enough. The other person must listen to you while you talk about the feelings. People feel good when helping each other with their feelings and ideas. You can unburden yourself to a close friend but if this person is so full of ego, then will choose to criticize you negatively. Real friends understand that destructive feedback can only break you down when you're in a bad mood or need support. They would listen to you and want to support you. 
loyal friends do not act like they have to change something. In fact, a genuine friend would understand if you have trouble before listening to you. Number seven, accepts you as you are. Nobody is perfect. A true friend accepts you as you are and will not try to change you. You do not become friends with someone who judges or excludes you because of your flaws. This situation will damage the sense of sincerity. For instance, an activity you love doing will seem lame to this person. But in this situation, a true friend will embrace you as you are, and the pleasure of sharing time will cover the difference between your tastes. Number eight, keeps secrets. Most of us have a few people to tell the most memorable moments and secrets of our lives. You share these kinds of things with someone you call a real friend and feel relief. Your expectation from this person is quite simple. She should keep the secret you gave to her and will be faithful to you by acting like a true friend. Someone who cannot keep a secret and tells it to others should be called a gossiper rather than a friend. Betrayal to the mutual trust, which is one cornerstone of friendship, generates damaged bonds of friendship. Number nine, if this person is generous to you. Being generous does not mean that this person should buy everything for you or you can see her as a source of money. Money and friendships should never be a problem. If this person is generous to you, show the same generosity to him. Someone who questions such little favors should become an accountant rather than a good friend. Ordering a meal once in a while or making a pleasant surprise is both a sign of appreciation and a good relationship. Number 10, this person will not be jealous of you. Jealousy brings nothing but hatred and grudge into a friendship. Someone jealous of you will never want you to excel. When approaching you with an unfriendly smile, this person can do many evil deeds behind your back. A true friend should be just as happy as you when you succeed and be upset as you failed. Be sure to observe the behaviors of your friend. Talk about it if you have the slightest sign of envy. Considering these things mentioned, think again. What is the correct definition of friendship? While true friendships offer good things to you at every moment of your life, those that are far from real friends try to take advantage of you and can do nothing but become a burden. If you have a friendship that can pass the test, keep them close and never lose them. Nowadays, the value of a true friend is much more valuable than you might think. Having a friend that you can trust in your life, who is at your side in tough times, who will think for your benefit regardless of the issue, will be very helpful in resolving your problems. Please comment, how many true friends do you have? Thanks for watching Social Town. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe and bell buttons and share it with your friends. This will encourage us to create new videos for you.